Hey guys, what's up? Today I want to show you a complete and free study guide in order to become a machine learning engineer. I tried to put a minimal list together that doesn't overwhelm you, but I think this list is good enough to equip you with enough theoretical knowledge and also practical experience to get started in the industry. For each point on the list I have the link to the free resources for you. And you can also find the complete list with a checklist on my GitHub and I will put the link in the description below. So let's get started. But before we start, I want to say a few important things. So this video is not sponsored by any of the mentioned links. I did a lot of the courses myself and can highly recommend them. Also, this list might not look that long, but some courses are extensive, so please don't underestimate it. I also recommend to do all the courses properly, so not only watch the videos, but take notes and especially try to solve all the exercises yourself. All right, here's the overview. So I have six sections for you. The first one are prerequisites, which involve basic math and programming skills. If you already feel confident here, then you can skip this. Then I show you the courses to get started with machine learning. Next, we have deep learning. On point three, I recommend doing own projects and getting into Kaggle competitions. However, you don't need to wait until you finish sections zero to two for this. I suggest to start as early as possible with own projects. Then I present you a GitHub repo with over 160 interview questions that you can use to prepare for interviews. And finally, I have some pro tips for you to bring all your skills to the next level. So let's start with the prerequisites. The first thing you should do is to refresh your math skills on linear algebra, differential equations, statistics and multivariate calculus. Khan Academy has free courses for all these topics that should not take that much time. Also, there's the YouTube channel 3Blue1Brown, which has a great playlist, which is called the essence of linear algebra. Here you have 15 nice and compact lectures. You don't need to become a math expert here, but you should be familiar with these topics. So I recommend watching all the videos where you feel you lack knowledge. Also, you don't have to delve too deep into the materials at this point, but later during the actual machine learning courses, you can come back and refresh the things you need. Then of course you have to know Python. I think there is no way around Python in the machine learning field, so I suppose most of you already have some experience here, but if you're still a beginner, then I recommend this full four hour course on YouTube by Free Code Camp. I also suggest to know some advanced Python techniques. So here I have a playlist for you with advanced topics like collections, iter tools, generators, decorators, and much more. Then when you are familiar with the basic and advanced Python concepts, the next thing you should learn is NumPy and also Matplotlib and Pandas. These are the number one modules for machine learning and data science and they make your Python programming so much easier and also much faster. So here we have a free course on Udemy. This teaches you all the basics you should know about NumPy and it also already includes some basics about Matplotlib and Pandas. But I can also suggest some free playlists on YouTube, either by Sanddex or by Cory Schaefer. Both are great teachers with awesome tutorials on YouTube. So I recommend that at this stage you do not have to do a deep dive into Matplotlib and Pandas, but you should know the basics and you should know about the possibilities you have with these mo modules. And then later, doing your own projects, you can come back to these resources and look up the things you need. So now we can finally start with the actual machine learning. The very first course I recommend is the free machine learning course by Andrew Ng on Coursera. He's a Stanford professor and one of the most influential people in AI, so you should definitely have heard of him. So his course is stretched over 10 or 11 weeks and makes you familiar with all the basics you need. For each section, you also get exercises, which you really should do. So don't try to look the solutions up, but solve them yourself. Then there is also a complimentary Stanford University lecture about machine learning by Andrew Ng. It, all, it's, it is almost the same lecture plan, but goes a little bit more into detail. 
It's over 100 videos long, but they are only about 10 minutes each. So I recommend to rewatch the topics you have learned in the course and strengthen your knowledge here. As an alternative, there's also a free machine learning course on Udacity. It has a similar lecture plan and is also stretched over 10 weeks. They have great exercises as well that try to get you familiar with NumPy and Scikit-learn. So I guess you don't have to do both courses here, but maybe you like this teaching style better or you can use it as an alternative and to get more exercise practice. So now when you have learned about the basic machine learning topics, I recommend that you have a look at my machine learning from scratch playlist. This is a course where I implement some of the most popular machine learning algorithms from scratch using only NumPy and pure Python. In each video, I also include a small theory section. So this is a great way to practice your coding skills and to get an in-depth understanding of the algorithms. All right, so these are the machine learning courses you need. If you learn better with books than with video lectures, then I have a short list with three books for you here. So this is only optional. I know they are not free, but they don't cost much and you get a lot of value for your money. So I can recommend these three books, Hands-On Machine Learning with Scikit-Learn, Keras and TensorFlow, Python Machine Learning and Introduction to Machine Learning with Python. Now we can move on to deep learning. So the first lecture here I recommend is again a lecture from Stanford University. You can find the complete lecture on convolutional neural networks for visual recognition on YouTube. This is a great lecture which teaches you the essentials of neural networks, especially convolutional neural networks and how we apply them for tasks like object detection or segmentation. Then I recommend that you learn a deep learning framework, so either PyTorch or TensorFlow. I, suge I suggest PyTorch since the syntax is a little bit more intuitive and the next course on this list uses PyTorch a lot. So the official website has some written tutorials that you should check out and you should do at least the 60 minute blitz tutorials. I also have a complete beginner course on YouTube that you can check out. So right now there are 15 different short videos that should be enough to teach you all the basics for this framework. Now the last point on the deep learning part is also the biggest and most important point. This is the fast.ai course. Fast.ai is an awesome site. They have the mission to make deep learning easier to use for everyone and to get more people from all backgrounds involved. They have two essential courses that you should do, which is the Practical Deep Learning for Coders course, part one and part two. Both assume that you already have advanced coding skills and that you have access to a computer with an NVIDIA GPU. They provide extensive video lectures about all the necessary topics and they put high emphasis on strengthening your practical skills. So the course takes multiple weeks to finish and is not so easy. However, when you are done with this one, you should feel comfortable in tackling your own real world deep learning projects. Okay, so this is the minimum number of courses I recommend to you. I have two more optional theoretical lectures for you here if you are interested in reinforcement learning or natural language processing. Stanford has complete lectures on these topics on YouTube as well, so you can check them out if you want. Now let's move on to part three. So this is another essential part of your study plan and, and I cannot stress this enough. You have to do your own projects to get experience. As a resource, there's only one website that you need and that is Kaggle.com. So Kaggle is an awesome website and claims to be the world's largest data science community, which I think might be true. On their website, there are two essential things. Number one is the site with free data sets. At this moment, they have more than 30,000 data sets that you can download and explore. For most of them, you can also find tutorials or notebooks by other users that you can explore. So I suggest that you take three to five interesting real world data sets and create your own solution for it. The second important part on their site are the competitions. Here you can tackle real world problems that even have price money for the best solutions. Now the money is not important here, but it's great that you can review and evaluate your solutions and compare them with others. Then you can reiterate and optimize your models, 
models, which will give you a great motivation and also a great exercise experience. So I think this is the only website you need for point three. If you are still unsure what projects you should do, then I also have an article for you here with eight fun machine learning projects for beginners. And again, I think you should not wait with your own projects until you're done with the deep learning section. Instead, you should start as soon as possible with own projects. So I recommend doing the prerequisites section if you have to, and then also the first machine learning course on Coursera, and then try to start a beginner project on your own. Okay, so that's all the things you need. I think if you do all the courses properly and do enough coding and projects on your own, then at this stage you should be ready for the industry. If you want to have help with interview preparation, then I can recommend this repo on GitHub by Alexei Grigorev. He put together a list with over 160 data science and machine learning questions along with the answers. So please check this repo out and see if you can solve the questions on your own. Now as a last part, I have some pro tips for you to bring your skills to the next level. Number one and two are create your own projects and show what you have learned and get into Kaggle competitions. So I know I've already told you this, but once again, this is super important for your skills. You should practice as much as possible here. And as a great side effect, when you show your projects on GitHub or Kaggle, then recruiters might become aware of you. The next tip I have is to take a famous machine learning or deep learning paper and try to reproduce their algorithm or their neural network. Or you can start your own blog about machine learning or deep learning and show what you have learned. And last but not least, you can contribute to machine learning or deep learning related open source projects on GitHub. For example, to sklearn, to PyTorch or to the fast.ai library. All right, so these are the things you need. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you get started with machine learning and enjoy these courses. You can find this list on GitHub where you have also a checklist for each of the points and can track your progress. So if you like this video, please consider su subscribing to the channel and see you next time. Bye.